Hi everyone, I'm about to go and have a braai, but first I've got to buy some wood. So I've pulled over at a uh, place next to the road where we can get some wood and uh, you'll find these type of places regularly next to the road in South Africa. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. We're going to make a braai, so for a braai it looks nice. Eh? Okay, how much is that for a bag? It's 24. 24 rand. Okay, I'll take two bags. Right. Thank you very much. Sure, <laughs> Good I have decided to come to what we call Budget Dan, but for some others it might be called Baha Dan. This is a very nice place and I have just hopped out to go and pay our dues. <laughs> we are at Budget Dam. And yeah, it's a beautiful place. We've got a, we were very fortunate. It's a bit quiet, so we were offered a space that you would usually book. But they actually said to us, we can park just where we want to. I explained to them that we just want to make a braai video, and they said with pleasure. Now this is my long-awaited braai video that uh, uh, what's it? Karma Coconuts has been asking for so long. Now I'm using most or all my new equipment, one old camera. What I quickly want to tell you is when you get to a braai place and you want a braai, make sure that you have a braaier grid like this. Now this grid, you get them from most of the chain stores so this is very easy to get hold of very handy and most dry places is designed to fit this one but what you'll need is you need some space between your coals and your meat so what we're gonna do is gonna take two bricks and put them on either side of the dry place and then your braai is spaced nicely you put your meat in between these two grids be very careful for this thing because it gets very hot once you've brought your meat don't try and remove this with your hand it holds everything together but it gets very very hot then obviously you had to buy some wood now this is circle boss I'm sure you guys have seen us in the video when we bought that now what makes this a nice wood is the dark part on the inside there makes it very very nice to braai with the darker the wood the better the braai right and here's another example there's a nice one over there now what I usually do is I unpack them all to see what do I have let's see here right and I'm just gonna put the plastic over there for the moment right now we want more or less even pieces and I'm gonna start to build my pig style or fark hawk that the way we would call it in Afrikaans um, like that and like that 
then you need some fire lighters. Now the reason why I use this particular fire lighter is because it's got a little zipper bag. So in other words, when you're done with, because you don't use the whole thing at once, you use a few pieces. I use two pieces like that. And I put this at the bottom like that and we've got a little bit of wind over here so I hope not that the wind is too much on the camera and I'm going to put some light into the the fire over here try and light it didn't get there take this one off first because now we've got a little bit of wind and matches makes it a bit more difficult to to light something get there okay sometimes it just takes a little bit of enthusiasm now next ingredients is the charcoal it's not necessary you can make fire with wood only but if you your wood is not a hundred percent dry you're gonna have a hard time so this is a foolproof method so what I then do is I put some charcoal in the middle there like that and then I continue with my packing my wood onto my braai like that and like that and look if you've done your fire like this I have not once failed so this method is 100% guaranteed you see now I've zipped it up put it back in here put it back in the box to keep it fresh and then what I what I do which is a good habit I put it into the charcoal bag because now I've got enough fire here to do what I need to do and uh, we're going to take a little break and then I'll speak to you guys again because from here it's just a matter of waiting the fire is gonna it's guaranteed if you've done this it will work till just now enjoy right now what I want to talk about is this bag now unfortunately somebody has got drying tongs that's too long that doesn't fit the bag but most other people have got things that does fit like these now what's nice about these bags is the fact that everything that you might need on a camp is in there even a wine glass but you want for, for four people knives and forks spoons and everything openers even a bread plank right so this particular one is made by bush baby very handy this is for your if you have wine you can put your wine in there so if you ever want to buy somebody something as a present this is one of the better things you can buy very very nice then there's a couple of different types of braai tongs now some people prefer this I don't I like this the one that I have control over the open and the close and then this one is a more expensive stainless steel one a lot of people complain it is too heavy it is a bit on the heavy side but um, I, I enjoy this one because it's long the longer distance you have 
the easier it is to braai because you don't burn your fingers. So, very important if you want to braai, you need a tong and handy bag. Right everybody, we've got to the point where we can scratch the coals open. I just want to get my braai tongs and then we can do this, open it up a little bit and then it is time to put our meat in our <laughs> reasonably priced grill reasonably priced grill yes that's it right so this is what we do we we'll open it up like that I just want to move this over there so that I can get inside the meat Right, now, there's a lot of meat here, man, there's a lot of, mm, very, very tasty. Right, now I must use my thong, and then what you do is, you pack your meat into this grill like this now believe me you will see the value of this thing shortly because if you clamp your meat in between you can always remove your meat if your fire is too hot Because you don't want to braai your meat on open flames. So that's also how you know when your fire is ready. It must, all the open flames must be gone. Okay, so this one goes into there, more or less like this. You can move those up a little. Put this one in there. Like that. And like that. Just want to get it laid out flat. Because if it's folded, it's not going to braai properly. Put this like that. And then I must get hold of this thing over there. And then close it up. I'm going to say once again, be very careful for this little thing here. And then it goes onto the fire, like that. And what makes this whole operation very nice is the fact that I can just turn it over like that. Should the fire get too hot, I can remove it. Right, now we've gotten to the stage where the meat is ready, like I said. <laughs> Be careful with that little gripper thing there, because this little thing is very, very hot. But the advantage of this is that you can turn your meat around like this. And that makes a big difference, and it make, a, make everything a whole lot easier. So what I'm going to do now, is just going to take the meat out, and I'm going to put some vores in meat is very very soft very nice good man right now we're gonna put this down here for the moment I'm gonna just let that thing go there and then get the lid onto this so that them flies, just want to clean my hand. Not the correct way of doing it, but it is a way of doing it. And then we take them. People must be very careful, especially at campsites and things. Make sure 
you dispose of this meaty plastics well because over and above the fact that it's pollution it can also attract animals that can be dangerous to you okay, I'm gonna do the I've got some bread as well right and then I'm gonna put this on the fire so that we can cook the vorsch and thereafter I've got some bread that I can cook afterwards hopefully we will not run out of light right now we've gotten to the point where the vors is also ready vors is like the Afrikaans word for sausage but uh, um, the the best uh, description for this sausage is vors so let me just get that off the braai and then we've got a couple of breads here buns we we'll call them broekies i'll we'll put them on there and then we will cook quickly cook them a little bit they go quickly so there's not going to be much time we'll put that in the bin now just grab that pull it over and move this in there again back onto the fire and that is then almost time to eat just a mm. tell you person gets very very hungry if it goes like this right and then got to just with bread you got to be very very careful because it can burn very quickly so I've got to keep my eyes 100% focused focus on this focused on this right now we are at that point where our bread is very close to being done almost overdone so this is now we're gonna have a meal because it is time to eat and I've got plenty of fire left so if any one of you guys want to come and share this fire with me you're welcome to do so thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel Click on the little bell so that you can be notified when I load my next video. Your subscription makes things like this possible. Till next time, goodbye.